Hi guys, gal, gal. <coughs> Hi Sarah, how are you? You know what that name means? You don't. You, your grandpa is a minister and he's supposed to tell you. I don't see her often enough. <laughs> it means princess. Did you know that? Your daddy's little prince. Yeah, that's what it means. <coughs> don't tell me. They named the ladder after you, right? Jacob. And let's see, don't tell me. You have the best name of all, don't you? And what is it? You know it. It's my name, David, that's right. <laughs> Noah. Right? All right, I have a question to ask you. If if you saw somebody, let's see, how old are you? Eleven. You're eleven, okay. Noah, how old are you? You're nine. Nine years old, let's say you were walking down the street someday and you saw this guy here who called Noah and he didn't have a mother and a father because they had died of a terrible disease and he didn't have any shoes and he only had one little like shorts that he wore and he had nothing to eat to speak of, what would you think his future would be? What do you think, Alexander? And nobody loved him. What do you think had happened to the boy? Seriously, what? He would die. Would he get to uh, have Christmas? Would he get presents for his birthday? Would he get to go to school? No. Would he get to go to college? No. Would he be able to become a doctor? No. Or a teacher? Or a fireman? No. Why? Because what would happen to him? He died. He died. You know, if you don't have good food, and if you don't have good health, and if you don't have a good or a mom and dad to take care of you, or other people that love you, and if you don't get any food, and all you have is maybe a pair of underwear that you can wear, and you don't really have any place to sleep, what's going to happen to you? You will die. And there are millions and millions of children in our world today that are dying because they don't have anybody to love them. And part of the reason they're dying is there's a very terrible disease out there, and that's what these ribbons stand for. It's called AIDS, okay? And it means um, acquired immune deficiency, and anybody in the world can get it. It doesn't make any difference whether you're black or white or rich or poor. It makes no difference. Anybody can get it. And if you get it, guess what? And guess what happens if you live in Africa again? You die. <clears throat> you die a horrible death. It's very terrible. Well, anyway, that's a true story. And all sorts of children in the, in the world have died. Well, seven or nine years ago, we had people in this church that wanted to save the lives of the children. You know who one of those people were? Let me help you. Your mother. You know her? Yeah, your mother. All right, and what they did is they and a group of other people, they tried to help save children in this little area in a place called Kenya. And one of the little girls they tried to save who was dying, who had no parents, who had no food, who had no clothing, who lived on a dirt floor, this is what she looks like today. How does she look? Pretty good, doesn't she? Yeah, she looks pretty good. Doesn't she look pretty good? Now, seven years ago, she was dead. So I want you to pass this around because this church is still alive. This church is still alive. And not only alive, she's in secondary school. And not only in secondary school, she'll go to college. And six years ago, she had no parents, lived on a dirt floor, only had underwear, and probably didn't have that. 
Now, there are two things you can do in your life. Noah, Thomas, you can be selfish, and what does that mean? Only think about who? Yeah. Or you can be like Jesus and do what? Think about other people. So we have two choices. You can think about yourself, or you can think about who, David? Others. And that means by thinking about who? Jesus. Those are the choices you have. There are no other choices than that. Self, selfishness, or Jesus. Those who use Jesus, the picture of that little girl is the result. Those who do not choose Jesus, do not choose Jesus. All right. Now, that's real serious. And when you see these red ribbons, I want you to remember that this church saved a little girl's life. And that's what it stands for, and that's why I wear it. Because it stands for saving people's lives. Okay? All right. Now, who's helping me? Anybody? Hey. Come on, <laughs> Sam, I am. <laughs> Come on. Sammy's going to lead you again. You've got your song sheets. All right, you, you, I want you to stand up here. Right up here. And anybody who wants to stand up with him, do that. Because he's going to, oh, you're good. good. And he's going to teach you how to sing too. Sam, let's go. Oh, 